<laughs> you can blame my dad for that one easily. You know, in the real estate industry, there's always a desire or goal to be boxed in by a specialty. We look forward to telling people that we specialize in a city or a town or a neighborhood. Asking me to become specialized in one area of the Bay Area would be like asking a parent to choose their favorite child. I just can't do it. And my father is to blame for my obsession. When I was growing up, I remember him loaning us up into his Ford LTD station wagon and off we go. Mind you, we lived in San Jose, but we never stayed in the South Bay Area. My father loved taking us into the city and various cities in the East Bay and the peninsula. It was his thing and we'd be right there with him. Gosh, too many to name, but the one thing that comes to mind at the moment was his work ethic. I mean, after serving 20 years in the military, it was hard for my father to separate the disciplines he gained from being a soldier from his civilian life. After getting out of the military, he worked for 20 years at the post office working graveyard shift. And I remember he started his shift at 1 a.m. and he always left the house at like 11 p.m. And I used to always wonder, why are you leaving so early? But that was him. And when I find myself getting tired or needing a break, I always say to myself, no, you're not. You're not tired. That's not the cloth you were cut from. Keep at it. And I feel like I get that from him. Thank you for being my dad. And thank you for being our provider. Thank you for dedicating so much of your life to us. And thank you for being my personal superhero. I am poised to do great things because of you. Wishing you a fantastic Father's Day filled with love, laughter, and everything that brings you joy.